What is up everybody? Welcome to Phantom Doctrine. Oh my god, do I love this game. It's all about my... and it's so good. I went completely and utterly brain fart right there. But Phantom Doctrine is the best game I have played in a very long time. In fact, it's the best turn-based strategy game I've ever played in a long time. And that's saying something for you people out there because you might like, you know, XCOM or whatever. But this game is XCOM set in the Cold War, as you can probably tell from the stuff going on. I love this game so much. I've played some already, but I deleted my save. My uh, save that was quite far on, so we could start again and have a bit of fun. Now, I am not the best, or I need to go back at this game, um, which is why we're going to stick with regular, because I have an unlock extended, and I'm going to stick with easy, because I'm not, um, I'm not this, you know, I'm not an experienced player, so I'm still kind of learning the game. Um, but I'm not going to go Iron Man mode because you cannot save or load manually, which is a bad thing because I tend to screw up sometimes. And we can actually choose who we play as. So it can be the CIA, which is where we are spending a lot of... Uh, well, uh, basically our mission is to uncover a conspiracy that is tearing apart, you know the world basically there's like a massive evil organization somewhere that we have to take apart or we can be the KGB which is basically where you just protect Russia as a KGB agent but we're gonna go CIA because I prefer to be technically the good guys but then again depending on what country you work for depends on who you are but we're gonna go CIA because we've got a cool name it's deadpan and I don't want to be I don't want to be Kodiak that's a camera uh, however no sorry inside joke right there but as obviously, we're not going to be with Charles Taylor, we're going to be Cam and Beardy. That's right, that's what we're going to be. We're going to be a dude and we get to choose our cover, or well, our passport photo. And I am going to go for Magnum P.I. Or I could go for, like, Brad Pitt. Or that fat kid from all the movies, like 21 Drum Street. Or I could be Prince. No, we're going to go as Magnum P.I. And we're just going to do a quick little thing here. So my skin colour is not that. My skin colour is actually that. My colour is green. Body type, yeah, average. Gonna go... Oh, give me... Where is my beard? There it is. Got you in a chin strap. Uh, no, we're going to go for a mullet. Uh, jean jacket, no, we're gonna go for something cooler, like a bomber jacket, which we're then gonna have in a dark brown, like that, and that's gonna be a nice green on the inside. Formal pants, nope, give me cargo pants, no gloves. I'm gonna have hikers, but they're in black. Yeah, I know exactly what I want to do. By the way, you, do, you can have some cool hats, like you can be Indiana Jones, or this guy, 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 or this guy. Actually, no, I want to keep my mullet. My mullet's awesome. Uh, so we're not going to go with that. We are going to have an eye patch, and a, cig <laughs> a pipe, cigarette, earpiece, and we're going to have a cigar. And the details, we're not going to have any scars, and we're going to get rid of these stupid tattoos. That's basically our guy right there. A mix between um, Snake from Metal Gear Solid and MacGyver. All right, so no tutorial. We're just going to jump right into the first mission because it's a lot easier to explain it than it is to do anything. And we're actually going to skip the cutscenes because it takes upon valuable YouTube time. Found a um, nice landing spot. I'll wait here. Right, these guys are really loud for me. Uh, audio. Don't sneak up on me like that. There we go. Until you call for evac. That's better. In my ears, it's hurting. Oh, I just realized that's quite in my guy. Not what I wanted. Lay it on me. Okay, let's let's just turn them all down to that. There we go. Whatever. What if Leslie calls? Yeah, that guy's really loud in my ear. All right, so basics. I'll run you through the basics real quick. You have you move in squares, so you have a specific move distance. You can move one uh, in one turn move, which is your, as you can see, just above me, that little blue square. So in one move, I can move to there. In two moves, I can move that far, and then I will be out of movement turns. XCOM stuff. If you played XCOM, you understand it. Um, 
I have a main weapon and a sidearm. I also have a series of things that I can do, like focus, which does that, stabilize, which if one of my teammates goes down or I want to capture, uh, say, an enemy agent who I've knocked out with takedown, I stabilize them so they don't bleed out. Basic stuff. Pick up an agent. You can pick up the guy you've knocked out and stabilized, take him to an extraction point, extract, and then you can interrogate him and gain intel from him. Basic stuff. I also have um, some equipment, and this guy has a first aid kit and a smoke grenade. Oh, I've got the hiccups and a smoke grenade. I have three people. I am Deadpan. My guy's name is Codename Deadpan. I lead this CIA organization. I have Durand, who is running with a, a heavy machine gun or an LMG and just a basic pistol. And he's also got a frag grenade. And then I also have oh, uh, Canasta, who is running a small SMG, a pistol, and she has a medkit and a flashbang. So what? So that's basics on movements and characters. Now, as you can see, just here, glowing, and every time I get near it, it gives me a square, is the ability to steal things. It can either be intel, which is down here, that's intel, or it can be things like uh, suppressors, guns, body armor. So what I need to do is I need to send someone, so I'm going to send me over there to loot it. And I got two shotguns, two Model 8, uh, 870s. Now, my guys are currently in disguise, as we can see if I press this. Status effect, disguised. We can freely move around restricted areas, but suspicious actions or enemy agents will still cause alarm. So, I can stand right in front of this guy, and he will have no idea that I'm, you know, CIA. Now, this is an, a very interesting game to play, because you have to really, really think about the things you want to do before you do them. Now, I, I, you know, I've played this mission already, so I, I kind of know the basics, but the thing is, on, oh, by the way, on every on every level, there is a specific amount of loot and a specific amount of classified documents that you can see up there in the top left corner. Just thought I'd get that out there. I'm here. Um, yes, you are here. I'm going to send you the... What do you require? Right, cool. Uh -huh. Okay, so, the basics of this game is, I run, because I've gone deadpan, I run a CIA operation in uh, Europe and, like, towards the... East, Middle East, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I have, you know, agents. I am Agent Deadpan. I have more than just these three agents, but these three agents, the guys on the missions right now. Ooh, I got two compact followers and a 38. Cool. Uh -huh. um, my current mission is to re uh, reach this selected area, but the current mission is to go discover Iranians making... Um, a nuclear a thing, I think. A, a nuclear thing. That really narrows it down. A, a nuclear reactor, I think. Alright. I want to try and get through this without having to do much. But I want to show you the basic stuff. So, um, am I in that guy's cone of influence? No. Alright, so let's select Deadpan right here. So I could shoot this guy. Is this Deadpan? No, this is Duran. I could shoot this guy. But, as you can see, attack full auto has got that little mark next to it saying that I would set off an alarm. Could shoot him with that, sets off alarm. So what I actually want to do is go to my uh, abilities, go across to take down and knock this guy out with a karate chop. Whoa! That's the way it goes. Uh, and you, you're going to head over there to go get that piece of intel. You're going to do the same, my friend. You are going to karate chop this guy out. Now, it does say, silently incapacitate the target. So Basically, I walk up behind this guy and kill him, but if it's a, if it's a civilian, they don't die, right? Okay, because if you kill civilians, you get it like a penalty, I believe. <laughs> Boom, not like out. By the way, minus 40, that's this guy's health. Infiltration, 50%, I still have to figure out yet. Yeah, we don't really have anywhere else to go right now. So, we're just going to... Basically, I'm just going to run you through this real quick. It's actually... Really, it's it's a really fun game. Now, it's kind of like the story or the the setting or anything. It's kind of like, you know, Ticker Taylor Soldier Spy, Man from Uncle, 
uh, Hunt for Red October, all these, all these Cold War movies, because it's set in the Cold War, it's like all these thrown together, covered in XCOM. Uh, but, I will say this, all of your bullets hit. So if I was to shoot that guy right now, all of my bullets would hit, but I have two damage choices. So in the damage, you can see that I have 70, and then in brackets, I have 40. If I miss, and I'm doing missing, you know, quotations, if I miss, I do 40 damage. If I hit, I do 70 damage. The only time you will miss is if you're fighting an enemy agent, so not a civilian, but another agent from another organization. Um, they have the ability to dodge, like my guys. My guys have the ability to dodge if we get shot at as well. So, that's the only time, really, that you'll miss. Now, this guy is dead, right? If a god was to walk in here, he would discover this body, raise the alarm. So I get rid of the body like this, which is something I really love about this game. I, you know, just pick up the body, waddle off somewhere, fetch the black, fetch back, and the body is gone. How awesome is that? I don't have to worry about guards discovering the fact that I knocked someone out. However, and this is what makes it really funny, right? Say, say I, I knocked the right. So these these two guys are dead, right? Say, I I had to get to a location. So say I was given a mission, right? Mission: go capture this, capture or kill specific enemy agent, right? Say that was my mission. But I didn't have a disguise like I currently have now. And the only way I could get to the guy would be to sneak past four people, right? So there's four people doing a patrol around this base. And I had to get to this guy. Now I could I could sneak through. I could stay out of their line of sight. But I risk the chance of being spotted. Or I can sneak up to each one of these guys. And I can knock them all out. If I knock them all out. And I, you know, I knock them out, but and none of the bodies are discovered. The guy I'm there to kill, who is an enemy agent or kidnap or whatever, right? Gets it, because he doesn't hear them radio in or anything like that. He will then go and investigate. And if I've turned off the security cameras or the security defenses or whatever, he will go and reactivate them. So the people who made this game really put thought into it, and it's really awesome. Now there's something I do want to show you. So. <coughs> My throat's getting a bit... Um, so there, let me just have a quick drink. Ah, there we go. Right, so. Deadpan. I want Deadpan to go and get this intel that is sat here. But, as you can see, from where he is to where he would go, it, it, it turns red. What could that possibly mean? This person here, this civilian, is currently looking at the intel. And the, the person has a, a cone of influence, which you can... Oh, no, I don't want to shoot that guy. Which you can see if I... I click on him you can see this white area in front of them that's their cone of like influence where they can see so if i if i i can walk there because i'm in disguise right but if i do something that wouldn't be what my guy is so you know i'm disguised as like a uh, i don't know like a nuclear technician or something so if i came in here and started snapping pictures that's not what my guy does for a job right so they immediately get suspicious so what i have to do so I have to move close, and I'm going to move uh, Durandin as well. Yeah. And you've already moved. Oh, by the way, they will just they will, they will just leap through windows for no reason whatsoever. It's pretty damn funny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for that guy to move like this. There we go. Person, oh, it's a woman. That person has moved. They are now doing something else. I can now take this intel. Boop. There we go, and I'm going to set this guy up to uh, knock that guy out, and then I'm going to get Canaster over here as fast as possible. Where can Canaster? Canaster can go through the door. Cool. All right, so just quick, a quick little thing on these guys. So we have health, which is 89 out of 89, and we have armor, which is one, which means we're not wearing anything right now. We're just, we've just got you know this suit on, and we have two little markers. So as you can see on Deadpan, I have two little blue things and one orange thing. I've used up one of the blues, which is my move. The orange is an action, so if I was to shoot a person, as you can see, it takes 10 bullets, one action, and one move, or I can fire, you know, a single attack, which would take one action and one bullet, a burst, which would take one action and, you know, three bullets, and you do actually have a reload and stuff. You also can do Overwatch, so this is what, this is what I like about this. So, you know, in XCOM, you have the, 
ambush ability. So you put everyone in ambush. As soon as anyone moves within the uh, field of view, you shoot them, right? This is a little bit different. So if I was to put it so he was doing just that right now, uh, so he covered that area, so that orange area, right? Not where, I, not where I'm pointing, but that entire orange area around him. Anyone who steps into that and moves gets shot. Apart from my my guys. They don't shoot my guys. Or, say that, that doorway over there. I want to cover that doorway. If I drag it towards the doorway, you can see he's now got a more direct cone towards the doorway. So if anyone was to... If, it, like, if I was in a situation where I'm trapped in a room and the you know enemy agents are about to bust in, if I position myself behind some cover and point myself at a door like this, anyone who breaches through that door is fucked, right? They're immediately going to get shot. Or, you know, you can you can try and do just, you know, any direction. And you, you do have a, a sphere of influence. So, you know, as far as what? There? Yeah, as far as they're away, any, anything in that area around me will immediately be shot. And then as soon as I go past that, there we go, right there. But I don't, I don't actually need to do that. What I need to do is I need to get this guy close to there like that. And I need to, can I knock that guy out? Yeah, yes, I can. can. There we go. And because it's civilian, not dead. I'm going to do the same with this person. Uh, yep, same with that person. There we go, because I need to access that little glowy thing right there. Uh, can I access that little glowy thing? Yep, there we go. Let's just shut this off. This is for the security system, just a little bit further up ahead. There we go. Disable the security measures. And Canasta's already got here. By the way, that guy's just going to keep patrolling the door, so we don't have to worry about that. But what we do need to go and do is we do need to go and head over here. I'm going to leave these... By the way, I'm going to leave these bodies because no one comes over here. So, you know, I know I've, I've played this mission before. I know that no one's going to come over here. I'm perfectly fine. That guy's just gonna keep doing his patrol. My throat's just gonna keep getting drier and drier and drier with all this talking. Okay, there is a piece of intel right there that I need to go and capture, so I'm gonna send you up there. And you can get close to the intel. There we go, go get that intel. Oh, here we are back with the loud noise. Nothing. Lost the tail by hopping on a million. I'm gonna let Leslie guy. talk. Leslie's our handler, by the way. Oh, we're looking for the reactor. No luck. Traces everywhere, though. It's there, guaranteed. Keep looking. All right. So, by the way, Leslie's our CIA handler. Uh, we are not our own handler. Oh, my throat is actually really coarse right now. So I'm just going to move these guys up. Now, I have to go here and check out the proof of a nuclear project, like a nuclear reactor, or I can go here and collect additional intel by breaching the bunker. Breaching is something I really, really love. So, you know, you if you play, like, Rainbow Six or whatever, you know, you set your breach in charge, you get ready to go in. Boom, that's what happens uh, with this. Except you don't really blow anything up. You just kind of kick the door in and shoot everyone. I'll show you in a second. Yeah. What I need to do is I need to, take, I need to get this guy set up at this yeah. door right here. You are going to take this guy out. Like that. hi <laughs> I love that action. It's so funny. I'm going to set up Canasta right here. I thought I told you to go to the door. Cool. And I'm going to check real quick. Uh, right, so there's the intel I need to go to, but that guy's currently stood there. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to wait for him to move. By the way, that's a cool looking reactor. Okay, they all moved. Yep, they've all moved. All right, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna just get that intel real quick. There we go. Found proof of a project. Leslie's gonna get back in touch. We've got a reactor and what looks like a fission device. Close the door. The test is imminent. By the way, that's a this is now. a really good thing. If you if you get the game and you're in a mission, use this tactic, right? So stand here I heard next you. to a door. Activate your beacon now. Or here next at the to a LZ. door and press triangle. You will open the door and be able to see in a specific direction, you know, so I can see this room right now, even though there's a sandstorm going on. So I can see into this room, but they can't see me because I'm hiding behind the corner. So it's a good way to check if people in rooms instead of just barging in. Unless you're in a disguise, then just feel free to barge in because it doesn't really do anything. Alright, so I'm just going to get everyone stacked up against this door for a breach. Hey. So let's get, the, get you over here like this so we can get you ready for a breach. 
and I actually need I need walkie points to do a breach so walkie points move points oh they tested the test of the reactor deadpan come in we're alive Leslie oh good all I had was yep. static there for a minute so what they tested happened? the reactor but you know the test. Didn't, didn't blow up us to pieces. so obviously they built Old a good reactor then. no fissile material but they See, have the says, technology right, he says fissile I'm sure he means fissionable I don't know why or fissionable or fissionable whatever all right so let's set up this breach so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call in my evac which will go right there which I have to make my way to and I'm gonna set up this breach so I go in and I'm gonna breach yeah I'm gonna breach here so we've whipped out the guns I now have in the bottom left corner you can see that I can swap to my agents so they could breach with their main weapon which will do 83 damage or 110 damage or 93 or we can swap to a pistol which will do 70. We're going to stick with the main weapons and we're going to breach. Spotted. That's what I love Be about careful. breaching. I have to do a ton of paperwork if you die. Ho oh, ho ho, funny Leslie. You were worried about us. All right, let's get let's get everybody over here apart from that uh -huh. one guy who's going to get the intel. Give me the intel and there we go. It's going to take that intel. Now, breaching, by the way, is actually a really, 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 really good thing that you can do. So, say you are in an area that has got three blocks in a room, and you want to get in the room to knock out one agent that you can pick up, take away, and interrogate, and possibly brainwash and change to your side. Which, by the way, brainwashing is the thing in this game. It's awesome. Yeah. What you can do... Is you can do if you've got silenced weapons, it's a lot easier and a lot more um, yeah. productive, basically. So basically, say you you know you want to go get this person. If you get your guys set up on the wall, ready uh, set up on the door, <coughs> the door ready to breach. What they will do is they will, if you've got silenced weapons, they will go in and they will yeah. shoot the people. Now I I don't know if you can actually select the amount of people you get to shoot, you know, so you can go in and spare people. So you will shoot everyone, which is kind of a bummer, but if it, it's it's really good for if you, if you get annoyed at this game, which I have in the past, and you get the mission um, to go in and either kill or, ex or extract an enemy agent, and I've just been like, right, you know, one of my guys was killed or captured, because your guys can be killed or captured, by the way. Um, if, 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 like, the enemy team has captured one of my guys, and I'm like, "Damn, that really sucks." By the way, this is a uh, this is Xville coming to pick us up right now. Um, if 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 that happens, I will just go in and start murdering the enemy agents, right? So you could just wait. You could try and wait until they're all really close, and then just breach a room and murder everyone with silenced weapons, and then just walk out nonchalantly like nothing's happened. This game has got so many possibilities. It's really good, and it it's got. See, you've really got to think like a spy when playing this game, because you have many different ways of getting into a situation. So, I'll talk about it as this thing loads before we head back to HQ. So, say your mission is go get a specific piece of intel from an embassy in, like, Paris, right? Which is funny, because you're CIA, so technically you should just be able to walk in anywhere, because, you know whatever um so you go you want to go get this thing so boom first things first you've unlocked the ability to do disguises so you put on disguise you're like right okay you could so by the way put, uh, the ability to put on disguise one of the things that i was talking about you know as a added option so you go in now there could be eight different ways to get into this one room you could climb up a ladder you could walk through the building in your disguise and go the long way and walk up the stairs and blah blah blah, blah do all this kind of stuff the good thing is, by the way, when you're in a disguise, you start off in the building, which is really good. Um, or you could do other things, like you could you could distract guards with abilities and stuff. It's really fun. All right, so this is the stuff we got from the mission. We got complex briefings, complex briefings, intel. So we've got the intel, uh, we got the file, and we got seven bits of intel. We got a new candidate with the codename Tango, which we can hire. We got two of the Model 8, 870s, we got one 38, and we got a compact follower. 
Uh, and those are all guys after the mission, by the way. Oh, I got a new perk. Awesome. Fender's on the line. Oh, Someone Fender's on the line. All right, I'll let these guys talk, and then... Agent and then we'll get back to it. Yeah. All right, I'll run you through the base real quick, and then that'll be it for today's episode. So, on the bottom, you see we have L2 and R2. Let's start off in the crew quarters. So here we have the guys that work for us right now. So we have 7 out of 10. So we've got Duran, Canasta, Fishhook. Uh, by the way, they all belong to... They all, they all come from actual organizations. So this guy was a SEAL. His background was a SEAL. She's a Marine. This guy was a Triad. SEAL. Freelance person is just like someone who does it from the self. Freelancer. And then there's me, CIA. So, real quick, I actually have... By the way, this is my ability right now. My current ability is Urban Operative, which gives me the ability of Empath. Upon healing other characters, uh, the, this character also restores a small amount of HP. And my proficiencies are with a B76 or a .45. Uh, or this rifle. I think being part of the CIA... Yeah, being part of the CIA also makes me proficient with 44 Magnum and a BM, which is why I'm using a BM. Uh, and it's got that little thing, that little star, so that if you if you don't know what you guys are proficient with, look for a weapon that's got that star in it, and you're fine. But these are my perks. I've got the crafting talent, the recon talent, which gives me bonus XP, and I am loyal. But we can have four. We can choose one between these four. So we can have revenant, which increases my critical timer. So if my guy was to go down, or well, if my guy was to shot to lose all his health and he goes down. He has a specific amount of turns before he bleeds out and dies. This increases that. Stalker increases the maximum range of my Overwatch cone. So remember when I showed you that. Basically, I can cover further. I can get better XP. Or I can Im uh, I improve my damage threshold. I'm going to go for improve my damage threshold, which means I can take more damage. Uh, and Canasta's also got one as well. So, oh yeah, Canasta, because she's a Marine, she's good with the Estrella, which is the good she's got, or an M16. And she has this, fire and move, number two, which gives her uh, exertion, so she can move further, or opportunist, uh, I said that really weird then, or opportunist, am I saying that right? Yeah, I am. I, I don't know why I'm questioning myself on that, uh, which means I, do, uh, I uh, do bonus damage if suppressed. Uh, and my proficiencies are just with the Estrella. So let's give her a new perk, so we can go with Brickhead, which protects us from stun, that one we've covered. This one increases our overwatch con, or this one is, uh, I cannot be suppressed, which I'm going to go for because she's a marine, and marines should never be able to be suppressed. So we have the infirmary. If one of our guys gets hurt, that's the thing. Alright, this is the main place you want to spend quite a lot of your time in. So, I can, in the crafting jobs thing, I can craft stuff, right? So I can have a craft, a flashbang, or a lockpick. That's what I want to do. Tech upgrades. These upgrade your um, safe house. So I'm current, we're currently back at the guy, the like the safe house. Um, so what I want to go is I want to go for recon, right? Which unlocks the tactical recon job, allowing me to gain intel advantages during missions. That is a very good. That's probably the first thing you should go for. Um, I will tell you why in a minute. Uh, all right. So here we have the investigation board. Now, it says work the investigation board. So I can sign. Um, I can assign Canasta to work on the board. Don't do that. You don't need to. What you need to do is just do it yourself, okay? So, this is the investigation board. I'll take you through it. So, I have this document. It's telling me that I need to find an organization. So I have to read through all of this and find something that stands out as a possible organization. So, this up here, tell, this tells me I need to find one, one thing, right? There, there could be more, there could be less one. I need to find one. So I have to look through this and determine what would be an organization. Puerto Rican police? No. Um, Cuban intelligence? Nope. It's, it is quite... Because you do have to read through quite a lot of stuff uh, which explain it, it gives you... This is like history stuff. Uh, I think actually some of this really did happen. Uh, in real life, which is kind of cool. I don't, I don't know what you can You could just like randomly click, click around the place like this and try and find something, uh, and hope you just hit on something like, like no. But I'm gonna go Chilean reps. Awesome. All right, so I'm now 
looking for information on Chilean reps, but as you can see, I have no more intel. However, here we go. This is the stuff I got from the mission we just did. So, I have to find another one. Tent rudders. That just that just stood out to me as making no sense whatsoever. Oh, and it says I've got new tent rudders. Come, oh, right, okay. Yeah, no, that, that confused the crap out of me. Alright, so let's get all my information on the board. So, I have information here. Uh, and by the way, this is an organisation. Uh, so, Loghead Corp? Or, I don't know. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Um, so, this is the information that I have to connect to tent rudders. So, tent rudders is connected to something. But what can it be connected to? So, what I need to do is I need to go into this. And I need to find now two. And it doesn't tell me what I need to find. So, you look through... And you look for stuff like that that just stands out. RAF. There we go. Normally you will find RAF. Yeah, normally you'll find organizations like RAF or um, CID or, you know, other operations things. So, okay, I need to find four now. Uh, tent rudders. Uh, Soviet military. Irresistible? Nope. Keystone. That obvious, that's Wolfgang. Mince me. There we go. That one. That one wasn't hard. Okay, now I have to find four for this one as well. So, cold stream. Uh, swordman. Mercury eight. There's one more. Angry line. <laughs> Reading through them, you'll notice stuff that just stands out. So tent rudders. I have to connect tent rudders to something. So. Do any of these have tent rudders on them? Yes, they do. This one does, so I connect it up like that. Um, do any of these connect up to anything? Yes, you connect up to that. Do you connect up to anything? Yes, you connect up to that. And thus, I have just immediately solved this and discovered new intel. For this one, by the way, I've discovered 10 bits of intel. Uh, so we'll really quickly just connect up this, and then this will practically be the end of today's thing. So, we're investigating Chilean reps. Uh, by the way, intel down here collected. I just uncovered all of this intel from recovering that. So, real quick, let's just do this and just, you know, whatever. It's When you don't know what you're looking for, yes, and then sometimes you can just be, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's just a lot easier to just click through this stuff and try and find... It, it makes it go a lot faster. There we go, like that. It is annoying. The noise is really annoying. Convoy, blah, blah, blah. There we go. And it's probably very annoying for you guys. Letter bomb. Alright, so I just sold that one really quick and it gives me two new candidates to hire and a new thing that I can manufacture. But that is basically, basically it. Now, there is a lot more to cover, uh, but I don't want to give you too much at one point because, you know, you could get confused or just completely gloss over some of the information that you need. But that is it i really love this game i love spy games i love spy movies i love spy stories i love all spy stuff right and this game is really good now there's a lot more there's a bunch more that you unlock further down the line as you progress through the story and you know informants give you stuff or you interrogate people for information all this kind of stuff it is really fun this game i do i know like that one was that mission was really basic but there is a lot more to it. I really suggest you check out this game. I think at the minute on PSN, which is what I'm playing it, I, I, which is what I'm playing it on. It's like 10% off, so I think it's like 30 quid or something. It's a really good game. It's on PC as well. Uh, I don't know about Xbox, but I really, really recommend this game. It is awesome. Now, if you guys want to be any of my spies, so because you can actually rename these guys eventually. If you want to be any of these guys, just let me know. Alright guys, so that is actually basically it. That's all the information you... That's the only information I want to give you right now. There's a lot more information and there's a bunch more to this game. Seriously. This game is massive. And the complex kind of way, way it's done is really awesome. Now, when I say complex, I don't mean complex as in, oh my god, my brain's going to melt and all this kind of stuff. I mean complex as in 
It's very well thought out, planned out, designed. It's really awesome. But I will say this. If you guys want to be part of my crew, part of my cell, I guess, if you, want to go, if you guys want to be any of these guys, just let me know. Because you, eventually you can unlock the ability to rename these guys. Um, so yeah. So if you guys want to be part of the the CIA, <laughs> just one, if you're American, you know, go do your stuff and join the CIA. Or you can be part of the CIA through this. So yeah, I'll do, I'll do it that way. Um, but apart from that, we will cover a lot more in the next episode. Now, I highly recommend this game. It is that awesome. And we will cover a lot more further down the line because... There is so much to cover, it's unbelievable. Like, eventually you get, like, brainwashing facilities and stuff like this. Which is just funny as hell. Um, so, apart from that, thanks for coming along today, guys. You know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, apart from making sure that there is no secret recording equipment or sleep cells in your area, stay awesome.